Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Hopp, the pastor. Today we're celebrating the great feast of the Immaculate Conception, our mother. And we will open with Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed your glory proclaim. On earth we your children invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Maria, Ave, Ave, Maria. We gather in the Lord's name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And as we gather, we call to mind that we too are to ponder Jesus' words in our life, and it's all about love and mercy. So let's call to mind God's love and mercy by reciting together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every special blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted to us in his beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intentions of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord, Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is all his glory. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, 
and looks upon the heaven and the earth below. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. To seat him with princes, with princes of his own people. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the second chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem. But his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. After the infancy narratives, we know nothing about Jesus' life until 12 years old, when he created some consternation for Joseph and Mary. He stayed in the temple when they were returning from the Passover to Nazareth. They just assumed that he was with some of the family in the spread out caravan. They had to go back and look for him and found him after three days of searching in the temple. And what was Jesus doing there? He was with the teachers and he was asking them questions. Asking them questions. And they were impressed when he answered them. Someone took a look at all the Gospels and found out that Jesus asked questions 300 times. So I want you to start going through the gospel and redlining all of the questions that Jesus is asking. The ones you've heard so often, one of them is, who do you say that I am? The other one is, why are you afraid? Another one, who is my brother and sister and mother? He asks us, what do you want me to do for you? How many have left over some of the questions and walked away? And then the big one is, 
why are you sleepy? There's 300 of those questions. Sometimes they're directed to Peter or the disciples or to Mary Magdalene. Today, one is addressed to the Blessed Mother and Joseph. Did you not know I was to be about my father's business? Why were you looking for me? Understand that these questions are meant for us today. We're the Mary Magdalene, the Peter. We are the Blessed Mother and Joseph. Anytime you hear a question, be ready to answer it. One of the 300. Spend your day ready to answer the question. The first question, why are you looking for me? What reason did you have this morning to get up? The rest of the day, answer Jesus when he says, why are you looking for me? Did you not know I must be about my father's business? In other words, expect to find me where I'm supposed to be. Where there is need for understanding, where there is hurt and suffering, that's where Jesus is, going about his Father's business. So today, and every time you pick up the scripture, look for a question that is directed to you and me, and we need to give a response for the reason for our hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. May we each day when we rise, respond to who do you say that I am? And then avoid going off into slumber and having to answer, why are you sleeping? We pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for peace in our own hearts, on our streets, and in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let's all pause a moment, and in the silence of our heart, reach out to those who need the Lord's presence this day, so that they have a reason for their hope in Jesus Christ. We make all of these our prayers through Christ our Lord, Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. <clears throat> Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of our salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ are born in the heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander and Peter, our bishops, with all the clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into 
temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us now share a sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, that you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me and close to you bid me that with your saints I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin motherly help your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the spirit fill the whole earth through christ our lord amen, amen. <clears throat> the lord be with you, and with you sir. may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen. let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Thanks be to God. And keep in your prayers the seven or eight children who are receiving either First Communion or Confirmation this weekend at our weekend Masses. We pray for our Mother, the Church upon earth, and bless Holy Mary, the land of our birth. Amen. Ave Maria.